Saturday morning update. Great to have you with us. We are joined by Dina Rowdybush. We've had Dina on before, and uh, Dina actually has a new show on Saturday mornings at 5.30, just ahead of the Saturday morning update. It's the Mortgage Crisis Update, and each week she'll take a half hour and really delve into the topic of mortgage problems that you may be facing, foreclosure, if you've been foreclosed on or you're underwater, what can you do about it? Dina, great to have you back with us this morning. Great to be back. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, we've been kind of buried in the headlines of politics over the last couple of weeks and, and some of the mortgage problems and robo-signing legal cases have uh, a little bit fallen by the wayside in terms of media coverage. If you could kind of bring us up to date, uh, have things quieted down at all on the mortgage crisis front or is it intensifying? No, no, no. It's just getting started. For for listeners that uh, have been following robo-signing or, or have not, uh, what does that mean? Fraud. That's what it means. Falsely signing documents, falsifying affidavits uh, to foreclose on property or unlawfully foreclose on property. That's that's really what it sums up, and that's why we're just now beginning. There are more and more lawsuits across the country. We're seeing more class action class actions across the country. It, it's not. Uh, this just really opens up. Uh, a whole new wave of number one opportunities for homeowners to f- challenge uh, the banks from from foreclosing on their home, and it really, you know, another aspect of this is it, it really sheds light on this this pervasive practice throughout the mortgage industry. Um, you know, fraud fraud has crept its way in uh, from the beginning of the origination of the mortgage loan, and it, it's now uh, you know apparent that it's. It, it exists in the foreclosure process. And I know on your show this morning you were talking about robo signings. And next Saturday morning at 5:30, you're going to be talking about MERS and problems there. Uh, tell us a little bit about what MERS means and what are the problems. MERS stands for Mortgage Electronic Registration System. Historically, a, a secured investor would file in land records, uh, either an assignment or the deed of trust, something indicating in land records, uh, real estate records, that they are the owner of the note. Um, the banks got together in the 90s and established this registration system. Just consider it or think of it as a software program. Uh, a clerk enters into this software program or this system who owns the note. Uh, they've done it sloppily, incorrectly, and it, 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 it now we're unable to trace the owner of the note. We, uh, we know one case, uh, and I want to talk about this because this is, um, I don't know why it hasn't been front page of, of the news here. Bank of America uh, allegedly has foreclosed on a home in Florida. Homeowners live in Massachusetts. There's a lawsuit pending right now. There was no mortgage on that home. Bank of America intended to foreclose on the property down the street. Ooh. Oh, yeah. They had tenants in the home. They evict the tenants uh, through intimidation. And the property in the home uh, was allegedly, according to the, the documents, thrown out. So the homeowners are are challenging the bank now, but see, you know, and this is not an isolated problem. I know through my practice uh, there was a wrongful foreclosure uh, in Arlington County. We're following these cases across the country, so it it really is just the tip of the iceberg, uh, unfortunately. But uh, what's fortunate about it is homeowners can challenge the banks. Something you pointed out on your show this morning was. You know, if you go into a court situation and there is a representative of the bank, you know, there's this sort of implied credibility that the banker has the upper hand, and then you have the, you know, the citizen on a lower plateau. <laughs> uh, is that changing? It's uh, good point. Uh, it's changing now. Uh, now the uh, I look at opposing counsel or a bank counsel is representing the the, the crooks a in the industry. Uh, it is changing now, uh, and thankfully the courts are recognizing that uh, you know there's you cannot take for granted or, or assume that the bank is the good guy in this case or that they're being taken advantage of. Absolutely not the case. Well, we hope that folks will uh, get up a half hour earlier on Saturday morning and uh, join us for the mortgage crisis update starting at 5.30 each Saturday. And, Dina, in the weeks ahead, what kind of things, topics are you going to cover that are going to be important people? We're really going to have such impactful information available to the homeowners because I really want to address the truth of the matter. I want homeowners to know what their true options are, uh, what's going on in litigation, how can they fight the banks, how can they stay in their home, and how do they know if they're being lied to uh, by the bank 
think, in regards to a, a modification, because that's another problem that hasn't been discussed, and I want to talk about that because I believe there are more people still going through the modification process, hoping that it's going to come true. Uh, and I really, you know, there needs to be some discussion on the fraud that's, that that exists in that arena as well. So if somebody just happened on our discussion just now. Uh, you practice in Maryland, Virginia, and D.C., is that right? I have counsel in uh, with my firm in Maryland and D.C. I'm a Virginia licensed attorney, so uh, my practice is uh, all over Virginia. I practice all the way down to, to Richmond. And uh, so we have exclusive experience that's all i've been a mortgage banking attorney for for nine years now i've been practicing for 13 and having an intimate knowledge from banks perspective having represented uh banks and mortgage lenders and brokers i want to impart that knowledge to assist homeowners i want that information available to them and if somebody wants to reach you the best way to do it 703-261-7097 or we can go you can go to our website www.saveyourhouselawyer.com. That's 703-261-7097 or saveyourhouselawyer.com. Dina Rowdy Bush, thank you for joining us on the Saturday Morning Update. And we'll look forward to joining you on the Mortgage Crisis Update Saturday morning, every Saturday morning at 530, right here on 630 WMAL. Thank you. Thank you, and I look forward to next week. News next on 630